Welcome to the True Man Podcast. This is an invitation to radical reconstruction of a man's masculine heart and soul and a place of safe community where we dare to ask questions deep-seated inside a man and explore ways to help you become a better man, a better son, a better dad, and a better spouse. Well, it's great to have you with me here today, and it's great to share with you what's going on in my life so I can transfer it on to you in hopes it makes an impact in your life. Now, today I want to talk with you about the idea of being a good follower before you become a good leader. Now, like all great topics that have come my way, this one in particular came up uh, around conversations with other organizational leaders that I'm a part of. The more I thought about it, the more I realized it wasn't something I'd given much thought to, but something I thought that I wanted to explore. Now, we tend to spend a lot of time in our lives following, perhaps more than we've considered. But what does it really mean to be a good follower? And can you become one? Now, I believe the answer is yes. So, how do we do it? As far back as I can trace it, the idea of being a good follower came to light with the Greek philosopher Aristotle all the way back in 384, 322. Man, that Aristotle, he's something else, right? And he said it best when he said, he who cannot be a good follower cannot be a good leader. Instead of rushing to the finish line and declaring yourself a great leader, take the time to be a good follower and learn important skills along the way so that you don't lose yourself. How about that? That is some good stuff right there. Now, this concept may seem counterintuitive to some, as leadership is often portrayed as a path carved out by personal vision, initiative, and assertiveness. However, the essence of effective leadership is deeply rooted in the ability to follow, learn, and adapt. The journey to leadership begins with the humility and openness required to follow others. A great leader is not born in isolation, but molded through experiences, interactions, and the guidance of others. Now, for most of us men, fathers and husbands, we all know nobody hands you a manual and says, go get it, young man. However, if you can put a few great men around you that have been in the game for a while, a mentor, an advisor, a guide, or a sage man in your life to help you just fight through all the loads of things that you come at you in in life, they can help you sort things out. And this is important because you can follow them in order to learn from them. So how does all this play out in your family life at the office and in other aspects of your life? Well, understanding the dynamics of following, I think, is crucial. A follower is not simply a passive recipient of orders, but an active participant in the process, right? You have to be in action like you are in every area of your life. Now, great followers, they're engaged, they're supportive, and they're critical thinkers. They understand the goals of the team or their family or organization and the vision of their leader aligning with their actions to contribute effectively. Now, this active engagement is the basic foundation of leadership, regardless of whether we are talking about your profession or your family. It teaches the value of collaboration, the importance of listening, and the necessity of constructive feedback. A leader who has been a great follower knows the importance of every team or family member and respects the contributions of each. Now let's look at a biblical character, shall we, that exhibited the traits of a good follower and allowed him to go on and become a great leader. Let's look at Joshua. Joshua became an exceptional leader after being an exceptional follower. Joshua started as Moses' assistant, an active servant rather than a passive follower. He accepted his role, chosen by God and Moses, and sought to add value through his humility, never aspiring to replace Moses or seek personal advancement. Joseph was a dedicated, he was dedicated to Moses' vision, 
understanding his assignment from God. Now, a successful follower buys into the leader's vision, overcoming personal ambition. How about you? Can you overcome your personal ambition to buy in to a great leader? Joshua was a learner observing and absorbing Moses' actions and relationships with God. He adhered to the instructions Moses gave, demonstrating a teachable spirit that prepared him for leadership. Are you teachable? Now, Joshua, he was born a slave, but he could relate to the people as a result of that that he would eventually lead. Effective leaders understand the experiences of their followers. They're empathetic towards them. Are you empathetic? Now, Joshua spent nearly 45 years faithfully serving Moses. His consistent loyalty and dedication exemplified the importance of being faithful where one is currently positioned. Now, Joshua was chosen ultimately to succeed Moses because he demonstrated these godly qualities. Remarkable leaders are remarkable followers first emphasizing the importance of focusing on being a remarkable follower. Now, being a great follower instills the virtues of patience and resilience. Just like Joshua learned early in his career, following provides the opportunity to learn from the success and failures of those ahead of it. And it offers an advantage point to observe various leadership styles, understanding what works and what doesn't. Now, this period of following is a crucial time for personal development, and it builds patience needed to handle complex situations and the resilience required to bounce back from setbacks. Now, these traits are indispensable for a leader who must navigate challenges with composure and determination. Now, the experiences of following fosters empathy, and emotional intelligence. Really critical stuff. Great, litter, great, great leaders excuse me, are those who can connect with their team on a human level, understanding their needs, motivations, and concerns. Now, this empathy comes from having walked in their shoes, from knowing the struggles and aspirations of being a follower. Leaders who have never experienced this might lack the sensitivity required to lead effectively. They might miss out on the nuances of team dynamics failing to address issues that could under, undermine morale and productivity. Now, great leaders are also lifelong learners, and this mindset is cultivated through following. When following, one is in a constant state of a learning and absorbing knowledge, skills, and wisdom from various sources. This con consciousness learning shapes a leader's ability to adapt to new situations, embrace change, and innovate. It fosters a mindset that values growth and improvement, which is a crucial step for leadership. A leader who stops learning ceases to grow, becoming stagnant and out of touch with the evolving world. Thus, the habit of learning cultivated through following remains a cornerstone of effective leadership. How are you creating a lifelong learning in your life? Now, this relationship between following and leading is also evident in the concept of servant leadership. Now, this leadership philosophy emphasizes the leader's role as a servant first, prioritizing the needs of others and helping them grow and succeed. Servant leaders are those who have embraced the essence of following. They lead by example, showing humility, integrity, and a commitment to the well-being of their team or family. And this approach creates an environment of trust, respect, and collaboration where team members and family members feel valued and empowered. Furthermore, great followers often become the best leaders because they understand the importance of building and maintaining trust. How's that for a truth bomb, right? Trust is the bedrock of any successful team or family or organization. A leader who has been, been a great follower knows and understands the importance of earning trust through action, 
consistency, and reliability. They know that trust is not demanded, but earned, and it requires transparency, honesty, and a commitment to the team's well, team or family's welfare. Now, this understanding shapes a leadership style that fosters loyalty and dedication among team and family members. Now, another critical aspect is the ability to manage and balance power dynamics. The follower learns to navigate the complexities of power and authority. Man, they can be complex, <laughs> for sure. Understanding when to assert themselves and when to support others. Now, this balance is crucial for a leader who must yield authority and wisdom and fairness. Be firm but fair, people. People will respect you when you're firm and fair. And a leader who has been a great follower understands the fine line between leading and dictating, between empowering and over-empowering, and being firm but fair. They know true leadership is about guiding and inspiring rather than controlling. Now, in addition, great followers develop a keen sense of self-awareness and humility. They recognize their strength and weakness, seeking opportunities to grow and improve. Now, this self-awareness is crucial for leadership as it allows leaders to leverage their strength while addressing their weaknesses. It fosters a culture of continuous improvement and self-reflection, which is essential for personal and organizational as well as family growth. Humility, on the other hand, keeps a leader grounded, reminding them that leadership is not about personal glory, but about serving the greater good. Great followers also learn the value of commitment and dedication. They understand that success requires hard work, perseverance, and a willingness to go the extra mile. This dedication is carried forward into leadership where the leader's commitment sets the tone for the entire team or family. Now, a leader who has been a great follower knows the importance of leading by example, demonstrating the level of dedication and effort expected from his team and family. This inspires others to follow suit, creating a culture of excellence and high performance. Now, finally, the experience of following helps leaders understand the importance of gratitude and recognition. A great follower appreciates the efforts and contributions of others. And this appreciation carries over into their leadership. Now, leaders who recognize and celebrate the achievements of their family, of their team and organizations build a positive and motivating environment. They understand that recognition is a powerful tool for boosting morale and encouraging continued excellence. Now, this culture of gratitude fosters a sense of belonging and a pride among family, team, and organizational members, driving them to give their best. And your goal is to always help people better their best. Now, in conclusion, to be a great leader, one must first be a great follower. The skills, the virtues, and the mindset developed through following form that bedrock of effective leadership. It teaches humility, empathy, patience, and resilience, and a commitment to continuous learning. It instills a deep understanding of trust, power dynamics, self-awareness, and dedication. Above all, it fosters a leadership style grounded in service gratitude and in genuine concern for the well-being and success of others. Thus, the path to great leadership begins with the willingness to follow, learn, and grow. Now, if you'd like to learn more about being a great follower to lead well, just reach out to me at Mike at TrueManLifeCoaching.com. True I'd love to show you how you can become a true man uh, by mentoring and teaching people. Now, if you enjoyed today's podcast, please leave me a great review on your favorite podcast channel. And as always, I'll see you next week, but go out and make this your very best day ever.